please make sure to check out all of the sale terms listed below before ordering. Now let's have some fun and get this jewelry sale started. Hey everyone, it's Angela Irene with Aged Goodness. Thank you so much for joining us today. This would be part two of our big mid-March sale. Uh, this time we're going to do an unboxing and a sale right out of the box. Uh, these are the boxes that my mom so lovingly cleans up for us. So she's already done the hard work for us. It's cleaned, it's sorted, all the broken stuff is all put together in one bag. And all we have to do is get into it and find out what on earth is in this box. This box is so big it won't even fit in the frame. It is a large flat rate USPS box and it is 21 pounds of stuff. So um, she is so cute. She always takes, um, if it's lined and then she closes it up and then she tapes it. So she really, she, she wants us to really mean it if we're getting into these boxes. So I'm going to go ahead and if I haven't said it, I love my mom. I can't thank my mom enough. Get our first impression here. Oh my goodness, duct tape is fabulous. I love this stuff. And we're going to start with earrings. <laughs> we have the press and seal. Okay, gang, I think what we're going to do, because there are, look at this, there are so, there are so many earrings. I think I'm going to go ahead and take them all out of here and kind of uh, put them together where they make sense as groups and then offer them that way. The last video took like three hours. So let me let me go through these and group them together as part of the sale and we'll take a look at them and sell them all at the same time. All right guys, I think I have a plan. There are a ton of earrings. Just try to get this um, quickly as possible. This is gonna be item number 80. This duo will be $1. These are silver tone. Okay, so that'll be number 80, that'll be a dollar. 81. These are acrylic and they have absolutely fantastic color. Um, you get that look of stone without all of the weight. Oh, how cute are these? All right, that's gonna be 81, that'll be a dollar. 82, these are just whimsical fun. You have plastic coffee cups and snow cones with eyeballs. So you've got your Starbucks fix and your sweet tooth all together. This will be 82, that'll be a dollar. Number 83, silver tone with this almost has a little look of like kind of like an agate but it's um, it, it's a lighter weight material and i think we have a little glass drop there so these two that'll be 83 and that'll be a dollar okay the next one will be 84. Okay, this whole little group we're going to make that two dollars eighty five. We have a nice little theme here. We have the dolphins and then we have the birds. Are those cute? Nice and shiny. Uh, that's number eighty five. Let's make uh, these two dollars. Heck, we'll probably just make the stack two dollars right here. Eighty six. Okay, so we have this patterned pair, silver tone, and then we have this gold tone, and this has like the chain that wraps around the ear. There we go, there's the pattern. Okay, uh, number 86, let's make these $2. Got a theme. 
to be 87. This is three pairs. And then we have, come on. There we go. We have enameling here in the squares. These are um, like ceramic. And then these have the little drops with the little rhinestones. All pierced. Totally cute. 87, make that $2. 88. Okay, these have a throwback look to them. These are acrylic faceted. And then same with these. These are acrylic beads. Aren't those cool? Yeah, those. Aren't those cool? All right, let's make these $2. That's number 88. Let me move some room here. 89. Let's do this one. This has great articulation and the pieces. Okay, now this one has wear or tarnish, but it all of the stones are there and it has such a great look and it may polish right up. Um, both stud backs. Um, again, guys, these may not have matching backs and mom has pretty much knocked the dirt off. Anytime you buy earrings, you need to make sure that you uh, clean them really, really well. All right, so this is going to be 89 for that pair. We'll do two dollars for that one. Okay, here's 90. Okay, this pair looks brand spanking new. That gold tone, I mean, look at it. I mean, it is, it is popping. I mean, woo, and heavy. These are heavy. I mean, you can tell in my hand. I mean, these are not small. <laughs> All right, that's number 90. Let's make let's make those two bucks. Here's 91. Okay, these have that swirl enameling, and these kind of have like like someone had taken it like frosting, you know, and kind of splatched it around. Isn't that cool? Okay, here are all of the colors. There's teal and gold and blue. Those look very, you know, blanche, golden girly, kind of both pierced. Okay, let's do 91. Let's do $2 for these. All right, number 92. Okay, these all look pretty similar, so let's do these. Um, these all feel like glass. Seriously? Come on. There we go. So let's do these two and these two. And these two. So let's make it be all six pair. All about the same size. Uh, 92, let's say $3 for all of that. Okay, 93. Okay, I have all these kind of over here because they're all pretty small. So, we have rhinestones. Those are pretty nuts. Here are some more rhinestones. These are gorgeous. Especially these. They're older. It's like a ride at Disneyland, isn't it? I, woo! Uh, <laughs> oh, the hearts and the stars and the moon. And these are just adorable. Well, I mean, more rhinestones. And then these ones, look. These are like little E's. But these are the ones that, you know, go behind the ear. Those are really pretty. OK, 
Okay, so that'll be 93. Let's do all these tiny, let's do all the little four cards here, 93. Uh, let's say $5 for this whole group. Okay, I'm doing a pretty good job of trying to pile everything up so we're not changing, bouncing around pricing. Uh, this one, let's see, shall we? I've said that now. All right, 94. Hey, this would be some cute little characters here. We have, of course, our spirit animal showing up here with our little enameled owls and then these adorable mummy pandas. I mean, look, look. These are so freaking cute. All right, let's say uh, $3 for these. That's number 94. Uh, 95. All right, these... Oh my gosh, these are these are pretty heavy, gang. Look at the enameling on these guys. There's the back. I mean, they're probably should have taken it off. Huh? But here we go. Here's what the back looks like. It's textured. I mean, these are heavy. And kind of domed. I mean, they're not flat. I mean, these are pretty good size. Um, 95. Okay, we're going to say these are $3. I mean, those are nice. 96. Okay, these, these are gorgeous. Okay, so not only do we have this beautiful silver tone here, but these are glass beads. Let's see if I can block everything on the bottom here. These are glass beads that have, let's try it again, there we go, that have the silver around them, like the silver gilding here, and then these are like a two-tone, I mean, these are beautiful, and they go great together. All right, uh, 96, let's say $3 for these, I think we're just kind of in the $3 zone now. <laughs> Um, 97. Okay. These are so boho chic. It's not even funny. Here we have the abalone here. And, you know, the acrylic on the bottom. And then the abalone sliver here on the top. And then these look so 1970. It's not even funny. Oh, come on. You got to focus on these. Look. I mean, those are fabulous. <laughs> Look at those. And they, I think these two go great together, too. Those colors really, really blend nicely. Uh, 97, these should be way more, but let's, what the heck, we're already in the $3 zone. $3. Okay, this would be 98. Okay, this we have little rhinestones and they are marquee rhinestones. You don't see those very often. Okay, I remember having earrings like this as a kid with like the little inlay. It could be turquoise. They could be silver. They're, um, you know, they have that, they have that look. They don't seem magnetic. So you never know. Could be. And then these are definitely different. All three are pierced. So, but just for these little rhin the marquee rhinestones, I tell you. Okay, uh, that's 98. Let's say $3 for that. We seem to be in the zone. Okay, 99. Okay, here, I'm going to show you down here. That way you can kind of see them. All right, we have enameled the dark dark blue enamel heart or blue enameling in the crosses and then we have this antiqued kind of brass look here and it looks like black enameling in there we have one pierced with stud and then one with the french hook so let me let me get really close so you can see those are gorgeous. Um, hey, we're already here. Number 99, $3. And 100? 
Okay, we're flying for the sale, huh? All right, uh, we have three pairs of earrings. Okay, we have enamel and blue rhinestone. We have kind of like that faux diamond look. It's rounded, kind of, and we've got that cushion going on. Almost like a druzy. And then we have these very vintage feel. Probably should take them off to find out if they're like Monet or something, huh? Um, they're rounded. Let's see if you can't see. There you go. Kind of see that texture. Reminds me of like a jello salad of back in the day. Okay, here they look. Here's what they look like on the ground. Okay, this is going to be uh, 100. Yeah, these shouldn't be either, but we're in the $3 zone. So here we go. $103. Okay, item 101 will be these two pairs here. We're going to say these are $4. Looks like we have some beautiful work. I don't know if, the, if someone made these or if they purchased them, but it looks like Labradorite and then these perhaps Citrine and I don't know, maybe Agate. I mean, they're black. But look at the coloring here. I mean, those are some nice labradorite, uh, both on French hook. So we're going to say $4 for that pair, 101, 102, Creature Couture. Look at these cute kitties. Oh my word. All right, these are the ones that, you know, this goes behind, you know, this goes in front of the ear and this goes behind the ear. They're totally adorable. And look at look at these little mugs here. Aren't they cute? Oh, totally adorable. All right, we're gonna say one zero one four dollars for those. One zero three. Okay, two pairs of glass earrings. These look um, perhaps artisan made. They certainly could be commercially made. Uh, they have the foil, the green, the periwinkle. These are fabulous. And look at these. I mean, these are some great glass beads. Both of these, I think, would be fantastic for Easter. And here they are. You can see the scale. Pretty good size earrings. 103, let's say $4 for that pair. This is 104. Okay, these look artisan made to me. Uh, just the way the connection here, I think I think these are artisan made. Um, we have Howlite and Opalite, and a nice, pretty colors together. And then this one, you know, those beads right there. I mean, that could be something more, you know, like an aquamarine. It has a very interesting color to it. And these beads look much, much more realistic than these beads here so you know i'm thinking right now uh, that could actually be turquoise so let me let me see if i can't get you really up close and personal here so these are nice those are really nice um 104 let's say five dollars for that duo One zero five. Okay, we have rose quartz, and then we have both a silver tone and a gold tone on those. And that stone to me doesn't look like any pyrite. I think it's sodalite. So those are both very, very interesting looking gems. Let's see how close can we get. There we go. Aren't those beautiful? Here, we're going to say $5 for this pair. Okay, as soon as I saw these out of the box, I'm telling you, 106. These are both glass beads. Now you know me and glass anyway. All right, these kind of look like a standard, you know, glass bead. But these, look at these.
These are amazing. And here they are down below. Get a good shot at them. I mean, pretty good size here. Uh, 106, let's say $5 for those. Okay, and I saved these for last. This will be 107. Okay, when I did the pulling out these of the box here, these look very pretty. They look, you know, uh, a newer style to me. Little glass beads. These, however, looked familiar. And is it this one? It's this one. It has a little spot where you could see there was a tag. Okay, there, there, there was some kind of sticker, um, maybe uh, the mark. But the hooks are marked 14 karat gold filled. And I'm I'm pretty sure in the back there ours are gold but these say gold filled but they look very familiar to me and they are gorgeous let's see how up close and personal we can get for you are they beautiful and then these little bees here i mean my word <coughs> excuse me i think that's a great duo and here they are down on you can kind of see the scale here i mean Pretty decent size here too. So this is going to be 107, 14 karat gold filled. I'm going to say $6 for these. Okay, and these were the other matches that mom found for us. Fortunately, these don't quite uh, meet up. I mean, we've got a few, you know, scratches or condition issues. So these, uh, this type of material will end up in our bag at the very end for crafting and all what kind of you know, whatnots, but look at all the gorgeous pieces that will be, you know, showing up in the craft lot at the end of the video. Okay, well, now that we've got the earrings out of the way, let's get started on some fun. All right, this one says necklaces, okay? Okay, this is probably here. I'll put that over there. It's probably going to pick up the camera. She's so cute. Look at this. Okay. Well, let's open this up. I'm, I'm assuming she did this to keep these from getting untangled you know, again. Um, look at these cute little beads. Nice little blue. Okay. Then there's this one. Well, you know what? Maybe I won't open them. I'm going to say they're all probably the same size. Wow, look at that. Really? There we go. Okay, so there's that one. <clears throat> okay, it looks like, looks like the same thing in this one. Okay, there's one more. And then... Oh, these feel cold too, look at these. All right, so we're going to have all four of these. You know what? This makes a really nice little suite. Look at those. Okay, hey, all right. Uh, eight. This will be for the whole little group. How about $3 for the whole group? How about that? All right, let's see what else we got here. Oops. Uh-oh. <laughs> here we go. And again, I cannot thank my mom enough cleaning all this stuff and sorting it all and this was a big box okay this is a long one too look this is peridot certainly looks like peridot wow great color Look at that whole little pile. And if you don't want it, it's an endless necklace. There's no clasp on it. That would be great for beads. Okay. Um, zero, uh, one, zero, nine. Uh, let's do, uh, it's pretty long. Why don't we do $3 on that one?
do some fun pricing. Oh, these are cute. Oh, these are chokers. Look how little these are. Gotta have a little neck. The miss could wear these. <laughs> um, okay, these feel like glass. These, I don't think these ones are, but here are the beads. Okay, those are pretty. Okay, what's, what's this? Hang on. Looks like maybe somebody made this one too. Okay, looks like we have fashion pearls and brown beads. Maybe they go with this. You know what? How about we do them all together? Why not? Okay, number 10, 110. Um, how about about two dollars for all that how about that why not okay this is cute okay the jump ring is magnetic not the actual closure chain is okay but these are cold what do we got going on here let's see hmm like maybe we might have We've got some nice crystal structure going on here and maybe some coral okay here's what these look like okay here's the necklace cute piece I have a feeling this box is gonna be fabulous Okay, let's do up close and personal. I'm not sure what is dinging at this point. How cute is this? Okay, how about one, one, one? Okay, we've got some kind of stone and possible coral. Really cute piece. Uh, one, one, one. How about $2 for that one? Why not? Ooh, I love this. Okay, Moon Glow. Oh, that is a green. Loving that green. And look at this clasp. Oh, I love this. Very vintage. Love that that look. Um, okay, on my monitor, this is looking very blue, but this is like an apple green. Has a great, you know, I don't think this is vintage, but it has a very vintage feel with that kind of class, that closure. Oh, I love this. Okay, one, one, two. Uh, let's, oh, I love this. Let's say $3 for this one. Wow, that's pretty cool. Okay, we have Hishi beads, some findings, and we have shell. Oh, we have pearl. Let's see. That's no, not gritty. All right, so here's the necklace. Look at this. This heart is a carved shell. Here, I think this is like picking up on some of the stuff I got in the background. Oh, come on. You've got to see this. Let's try it one more time. Look at that. That is amazing. It's carved out of the shell. That's gorgeous. And here are the pieces along the way here. Ooh, I love that. All right, let's... Wow, so far everything in this group um, is worth selling. Nice. One, one, three. Let's say $3 on this one. I love this piece. Okay, and the last one in this group, this was a great bag. Okay, this is metal. Looks like paint on metal. 
pink, black, and the gold tone. Loving this. Look at this. I don't know what that is. I'm going to have to take a look at my computer. And this is a long, long necklace. That is fun as all get out. Okay, 114. Um, let's say $3 for that one too. Let's do that bag I had pulled out. And this one also says necklaces. She's so cute. Okay, it looks like we have some stone and some wooden beads. Okay, let's, okay, well this one looks pretty good size, so let's start with this one. Okay, well here's the class. Oh, it's got to go this way. Wow, that's pretty good size. <laughs> okay, here we go. It's going to be triple strand down at the bottom. And single strand. Yeah, let's pull it through this way. So you've got your triple strand, and then on your decollete you're going to have these larger spheres, and then this cute little heart, and then this heavier chain would be around your neck. Wow. I mean, if you don't like this configuration, this is a lot of chain. These are... hollow so it's not too too difficult look at the lobster claw on that boy that's huge okay this is a monster piece cute maybe a little tarnish maybe okay um one one five yeah. about two dollars what is this? Okay, well, it has cord. Ugh. Okay, it looks like it has like, I don't know. I think it's got some maybe cord condition issues. But these these, my friend, look like very nice, big, faceted labradorite beads. Okay, this piece is worth it for these. <laughs> okay, these are, these feel like acrylic. And then you have these silver and gold tone, like, they almost look like wheels. They're hollow. Interesting. To keep the weight down, I'm sure. And then look at this closure. Look how big that is. Okay, you know, for bits and pieces, uh, hey, 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 there's a mark here. Okay, it's a heart with little dots in it. But it doesn't look, it's... I don't think that's a Stella and dot. I mean, theirs is just a heart with the dots. This is a heart with dots inside a solid heart. Hmm. Okay, well, I don't know, but I love these. Hand knotting between these, and look at the color. Oh, those are cold. Really cold. Okay. Um, because we have some issue here, you know, this, ugh. but I love this and I'm digging these beads. Okay. How about one, one, six, uh, let's say $5 on this one. This has got a lot of good bits and parts and cool stuff on that one. Okay. Let's see. Here we have classic wooden beads. Looks like a regular closure. Looks like we have some gold spacer beads. It's almost are in like a kind of like a honey oak tone. We have those. And this no mark. K 
Okay, wooden and faux. Okay, these, these are very light, these green ones, but this, this is heavy. So we've got a real stone here and I think two fake stones and then some wood. Oh, this one too. This one looks like an amethyst. All right, so we have kind of a mixed bag here with this. Okay, well, how about we, here, how about we sell those two together? The last two in the box, or in this bag, rather. Uh, 117, how about we say $2 for the pair? Let's put that one back. All right, so the next bag, necklaces again. This one looks like pearls. Ooh, loving that already. Let's go small. Okay, this one looks classic. Maybe an older style clasp. I love that. I think that's really nice with pearls. Okay, these are faux. Oh, we have an enhancer. Nice. So here's the enhancer. Isn't that beautiful with the rhinestones and the faux pearl? And it's pretty good size. Beautiful length. These are really pretty. You know, they're a little cool to the touch. Um, They could be glass or they could be, we're starting to see like this, like really heavily coated pearls. So they're, I think they're less, probably less expensive, but these haven't, they are definitely cool, cool to the touch, but beautiful faux pearls. Okay. This is number 118. Let's say a dollar for that. This has a really cute little box closure. Okay, to me this looks like maybe somebody made this. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, so here. Here is the piece itself. And look at this nice little detail here where the drop starts. Let's see if I, there it goes. Isn't that beautiful with the rhinestone there? That's gorgeous. Looks like somebody took a lot of time. Okay, 119. Uh, let's say a dollar for this one. Now this big boy. Okay, these are nice and cold to the touch too. Heavier, what are these? Okay, this has the look of Melifiore, but it looks like that they're painted, but they're like ceramic beads. Those are nice and heavy, these beads. Look how pretty they are. And here are the pearls. Wow. Holy, holy moly, look at this. <laughs> There's a huge lobster claw. Okay, I am totally digging this piece. Look at it. Wow. That is a piece. It will not, oh, there we go. If I kind of bend it a little bit, get it all in frame. That's gorgeous. Again, these are cool, heavier. One, two, zero. Let's say $3 for this one. Wow, that was a fast little bag. Single earrings. This is one of everybody's favorites. Oh, both bad. All right, there's a nice little pile going on here. This is always the sad part. You see the earrings, you're like, oh no, I wish we would have had the other one of those. All right, um, right off the bat, we have, uh, you know, this. 
This is acrylic. This is fun. Okay. Okay, I see this right off the bat. This looks like a Tibetan or a Tibetan inspired piece. That stone. Pretty. Okay, so that's nice. Oh, missing pieces. Okay, uh, mother of pearl or shell, dyed shell. Okay, those are gorgeous. Looks like we have glass. Oh, these are gold to the touch. We've got some glass. Oh, look at the color. Oh, those are beautiful. Okay, so we have that. This would make a beautiful pendant. Wow. Um, gang, we may have a, we have a, we may have a nice piece of turquoise here. Take a look at this. Okay, so we have that. Nice. Oh, that's beautiful. Rula Mark. Uh, Leah Sophia. Okay, that's pretty. What else we got in here? Okay, well, not magnetic. Looks like we have State of Texas. Not magnetic, so, you know. We'll see what that, you know, somebody will let us know. Oh, beautiful enameling. That's a gorgeous piece and nice little rhinestones. Uh-oh. We have Mexico. Look at this gang. The moon, the stars, we have some abalone right there. Let's see if I can't block out more of the background here. Oh, wow. All right, well, that'd make a beautiful pendant. Okay, acrylic, an ear climber, some lava stone, some shell. We have another nice piece of something. Okay. Glass beads. Oh, here's a glass bead. Oh, how cute is this? Okay. All right, so we've got glass beads. Here's another glass bead. Beautiful. Okay, you know, fashion stuff. Glass pearl. Oh, okay, here's another piece. I bet it's marked too. Mexico. All right, so we have these two. We have a ton of other beautiful pieces, glass beads, possibly turquoise. Oh, okay. Well, this just fell off of this, but look at, look at this beautiful Rivoli stone. Okay. All right. We have all that. Um, normally I keep the earrings for the auction, I'm not sure when we're going to have an auction, so let's just go ahead and do the single earrings. Let's just make it be a lot, number 121, uh, with all the beautiful pieces in there. Uh, let's say 15, $15, 121 for the single earring lot. Oh, 
Oh, the bracelets. Okay. See what we've got. All right. Um, okay, this is the Girls with Guns. Let's push these off to the side. Rhinestone. Okay, we've got a mark. Let's see. Yes, the Girls with Guns. Look at all the rhinestones. Nice shape. There's the back. Looks like a little, little wear. Okay, you know what? I have no idea what these go for. So we'd probably need to look this up. Um, but, you know, that's not kind of what we're doing today. So, uh, one, two, two, let's say $3 for that. Someone could be getting a humongous good deal. Okay, like the Mahjong tiles. You know what? I've seen these before where these, you know, these could be um, pretty pricey. When we had the real actual tiles, I mean, this is a little, you know, just a little bracelet of. So, uh, one, two, three, let's say uh, $4 on that. Some of this stuff I'm not going to do pricing on. Like this has got some wear. You know, so if you see anything that you're interested in, uh, just let me know. But like this, no. Oh, this, this has wear. No. This has a little more wear, but you know, if you're interested in something like that, let me know. All right, we have some beautiful floral cloisonne and glass. It's probably glass. Is that a nick? What is that? Let's see. Oh, it just looks like where they took it off. Okay, these are beautiful. And this one has black in it, so why don't we do these two together? 124. Um, why don't we say seven dollars for the pair? Okay, this is like one of the tricolor ones. Um, you know, it the shape is okay, it's not bad beautiful color okay this is a bendable also multicolor and this one does have the magnets in it okay how about we do those two together is there anything else that looks like that no Oh, this is really tiny and it's not so fabulous either so let's put that off to the side oh this one has wear okay so I'm gonna put that to the side all right let's do these two together you know they have a great look okay 125 let's say three dollars for that pair We've got more of the cat's eye kind of moon glow. Those feel cool to the touch. Mm, okay, I think the yellow ones are acrylic. And I think the evil eye are glass again. Uh, pretty colors. Nice shape. All right, 126. Let's say two dollars for that one. Okay, 
right, we've got leather and metal. Okay, not magnetic. Has a little wear, looks like somebody has worn it. Don't think, just think that, you know, it's just a mark, you know, just XXX. Same with this one. Okay, it's pretty though, so we have that one. And this one has some enameling and some beautiful detailing in these beads. That's pretty, so let's do those together. Okay, these look, this has like a very 70s shape to it. Wallpaper, rugs, lamps, all have that kind of look. Okay, that is really cute. Okay, let's do that. Okay, I think maybe I'll put these together. All right, so why don't we do these three together? They have a great look. Okay, so we'll do $127 and let's say $5 for this group. Okay, these two look very similar. Here are the ends on those two. Okay, so let's do those two and We have magnetic, magnetic, magnetic on the jump ring, not so much on the rest of it. Not seeing a mark, but that doesn't mean anything. All right, let's do this group. Looks very cute together. How about one, two, eight? Let's do five dollars on this group. All right, we have enameling. I think we have a little cleanup we need to do on that one, but it has beautiful enameling. And these two are two tone. Maybe. Or never. Okay. How about here? There we go. So those are those are a nice shape. Alright, so let's do these and okay. Oh, no, let's, we have to do those two separate. Okay, let's do these three together. What the heck? One, two, nine. Let's do a dollar. <clears throat> okay, did somebody make this? This is very cool. Okay, it looks like... Looks like maybe somebody made this. Not sure. But pretty cool. All right, if you're interested in this, you know, how about how about a dollar on that? Okay, this is gorgeous. Looks like they have some ribbon inside of the acrylic, and it looks like we have a brass insert. Yeah, 
that's cool. Uh, definitely heavy here. It looks like there was a tag in here. So I don't think this has got too much wear on it. It does have like a, something in the ribbon right there. It looks like a little spot on the ribbon. Um, how about $2 for that one? I don't think we need to put a number on that one. All right, well, let's, <laughs> that was a nice little group. Cord necklaces. Okay. Let's check it out. What is this? Oh, oh my word. Okay. This is a big, oh, it's a whistle. It's a big ceramic turtle. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's huge. And it's a whistle. I'm, I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not putting my mouth on that. But look at this face. Uh -huh. <laughs> Am I getting <laughs> from the peanut gallery over there? Nothing. Okay. Uh, look at this face. Holy heck! It's adorable. Yeah, gang. This this is heavy and adorable. Look at this face. Look at this face. Uh, it's on a cord. It's sort of a kind of pull. It's not like a Shambhala, but interesting. But I mean, you're, I mean, you can see this thing is, he's heavy. He's cute. How cute is this? And it says a Cabo San Lucas. Oh, that's sad. Somebody probably got that from their trip. Well, someone else can enjoy him. He's uh, item 130. Well, let's say $3 for him. He's totally adorable. Okay, it looks like we're going to end up with kind of a uh, kind of a knot. All right, this is a this is a beautiful ceramic piece. So we have that. That's beautiful. And then it looks like we're going to end up with well, kind of a mess, but. You know what, if I just show them like this, we'll just show them. They're glass pendants all on these, you know, cords. Here's the beautiful heart. It's kind of like this blue on the back. And then we have blue. It's black on the back. And then this great swirled. Kind of puffy. It's got some great dimension to it. It's not flat. So we have those three. Let's see what else is in this group. Okay, this is acrylic. Pretty. And then we have a choker. It's kind of like Victorian looking drop with some glass beads and rhinestones. We have that. And this is treasure something. Treasure cast. Treasure cast. I don't know. Maybe it's part of a movie. All right, so let's, you know what, gang, I'm not going to put a number on each one of these. Um, you know, if anybody's interested in whatever this treasure cast thing is, let me know. And Victorian choker, it's, you know, it's pretty lightweight, but the glass beads are really pretty. Um, okay, so let's do 131. Let's do a dollar for that one. Okay, this heart is gorgeous. It's also it's also married with everything here. Um, that's why I'm glad she put these in a bag on their own. You can tell these cords are just so much fun. All right, one, three, two. Uh, let's do a dollar for the heart. It's beautiful. And then here is that beautiful ceramic piece. One, three, three. Let's do a dollar for that one. 
this one even comes with a little beautiful sparkly bob on the bottom here. Let's see. That's a really beautiful rhinestone all on its own. How beautiful that is. So let's do this one. And because these are both pretty small, but this is amazing. This piece here is gorgeous. Um, let's do these two together. 134. Uh, let's do two dollars for that. Um, the acrylic one. You know what? It's kind of, you know, I think somebody would enjoy it still, but it does have a little little scratching if anybody's interested let me know so on those two all right let's see what we pull out this time okay you knew there would be one what the heck necklace <laughs> all right i'm going to say with all this chain this is oh dear um yeah well, here's the end and uh, the rest of it. Okay, well, you know what? We will work on that. You know, bless my mom. I love her so much. We'll work on that. All right, let's see. Matched pair but need work. All right, let's take a look. Oh, yeah, I, I, I say they need, there's no back here. Okay, yes, I could see we need work on these. Oh, but they're, look at these. Oh, a little bent. Oh, oh dear. That's too bad, look at these. Are they magnetic? Oh, we, the jump ring is. Okay, so here's what these look like. They're a little bent. Okay, they need some work. And it looks like we're missing parts, but those are cute beads. I think we're missing some rhinestones. Boy, those are heavy rhinestones. And it's marked. Hang on, let's take a look. U-N-E-L-I-G-N-E. -E -E. Well, we're missing some stones, but... Oh, Look at the rhinestones. I gotta see if I can get out the background. Look at the rhinestones here. Wow. Okay, those are gorgeous. Okay, here's the one that we're missing the back. You could certainly make something cute out of those. With these little. Come on. Seriously? Okay, it really doesn't. There we go. These little gold bits and baubles there. So one has no back and one has the clip on earring back. Okay. I think we're missing some jump rings here, but. Tell me you couldn't make something out of those bits and pieces. Oh. Some beautiful enameling here. Looks like this piece has come off. The enameling, the black and the white. Sugar fix. That's gorgeous. And then we have um, two Rivoli parts of earrings that are missing whatever was dangling from them. Wow, those are gorgeous. Okay, how about all of the bits and parts here? Uh, let's do $5 for this group. Let me pause, put them back in the bag. Let me give you a number. <laughs> That'd be helpful. 
135 so five dollars for all the little bits and parts here necklace or belt oh that can't be good oh oh it had oh dear okay it has like these little hair pieces and leather triangles and some funky plastic beads you know what we're just yeah well we're, we're just gonna leave that one in there oh dear no 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 Okay, more necklaces. Let's take a look. Okay, let's push these all to the side. Okay, got it. All right, we have this beautiful drop. I'm thinking somebody, an artisan, made this. Nice long piece, my word. Look at all that. Let's pull it through. This is nice. Look at all of this. Here are the beads. Really? Come on, work with me here. Nice metallic, and then you have all of these seed beads all done. And this beautiful metallic gray that's gorgeous and all glass i mean look at these beautiful glass beads down here okay nice long piece how about 136 how about i really like this piece how about two dollars for that one that is gorgeous i wonder if they're all wow okay this one's going to be long too Okay, here we go. Let's pull this one through. Here we have silver tone, metallic beads again, opalite beads. Oh, come on. You gotta see these beads. Let's try them this way. How about down here? There we go. Look. Look at these beads. <laughs> these beads are amazing. And then we've got stations. And then look at these beads. We have opaque beads. Kind of that jade look. More of the opalite beads. Looks like faux pearl more stations of these gorgeous beads and then we finish with another round of the opaque and silver tone i mean this is wow i love this piece too um okay how about 137 let's say three dollars for this one this one has that that has some beautiful stuff going on there okay this one looks very similar to the very first one Except it has black either stone beads or glass beads. I mean it's hard to tell. Okay, little lobster claw, small seed beads, and then we go into these high polished black beads. Like I said, they could be glass, it could be stone. Probably I would think. And then it goes down again to the really long, like faux tassel kind of look going on. So there is a lot going on with that one. Okay, 138. Let's say $2 for that one. Okay, this one is much smaller. We have glass beads that are like the two-tone, you know, that have half coating and then, you know, like half is the 
milky white and half is like that high polish coating and then these silver beads which are kind of lighter weight nice little necklace beads okay 139 let's say a dollar for that one oh another really really long one silver tone chain we have looks like how light beads okay let's pull it through like a how light bead station necklace there's a lot going on here. Here are the bees. We have silver tone and looks like the dyed howlite. Let's pull a few more beads here. Let's show like this whole group. Okay, I don't know why we're having trouble focusing now. <laughs> All right, here we go. So, beautiful color. That's gorgeous. All right, this is 140. Oh, what the heck, let's do $2 on this one. This looks very similar to, like in the beginning, we started with those tiny beads. Okay, this has tiny beads plus a little bit larger beads, glass beads. So this is the blue and the green. This is quite a color combo. This is very striking. Let me pull this up so you can see it. Let me do it in a pile. That is a striking color combo. That kind of gray blue and this kind of, uh, kind of like a brownie green. Boy, is that pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that color. Okay, I'm digging that one. Uh, 141. Uh, let's do $2 for this one. These are pretty. These are acrylic, but boy, oh boy, are these pretty. Okay, these look like they're meant to look like stone. So these look like they are supposed to look like amethyst and citrine. Pretty long. Gorgeous. And then this one, it's kind of a mixed bag. All right, we have acrylic, beautiful colors, and then we have some glass beads. So this is definitely uh, like a spring kind of look to it. So we have acrylic, and then we have some glass beads. How about we do these two together? Um, one four two. Let's do two dollars for both of those. All right, drum roll, please. What are we gonna pull out next? Oh, rings! Hey, we haven't had rings in a box in a little while. Let us take a look. Oh, looks like we have a gamut of stuff. All right, well let's. Okay, we've got a glass ring. Oh, we have tiger's eye. It looks like someone made this ring or it could be commercial. A lot of, um, you know, that boho, I'm telling you, really, really coming on. Okay, so we've got that. We have a stretch ring. Okay. What are these? Oh, we have a whole group, uh, different sizes. Look at these, abalone and shell, silver tone, 
some of these still have tags in them, like this one, number six, still in it. Okay, so we have those. A uh, little bit of wear on that one. Still nice on the top. Little cross. Boy, this thing doesn't want to focus on anything. There we go, little cross. Look like little faux stones. That's cute. Uh, little wear. I'm not like through, but like little scratches. Hey, there are a boatload of these teeny, teeny rings. Some have like these little rhinestones here like a little tiny solitaire and some are just look at all of these some are just um, fashion oh my word okay there's a look at all these good grief ton of those okay here is a heavier piece looks like it supposed to look like a faux pearl but it's all silver tone okay a rhinestone knot okay this one does have wear okay and this is supposed to look like a solitaire and um it's kind of wonky it's kind of like sideways it, it doesn't look like it was set very well. So, okay, so we've got kind of this mishmash of, you know, a little bit of wear and then a gazillion of these little things. So how about we do, how about we do this? We'll do this whole little wonky group here with all of these gold tone, you know, squiggle chevron looking rings and then the these things let's do all of this group here we'll do all of this 143 uh let's let's say uh two dollars okay we'll just do all that group okay here's the glass ring I mean, if you're brave enough to wear a glass ring okay this is gonna be about a seven and a half Okay, how about 144? Let's do, I mean, a lot of people are afraid to wear these. Let's do $2 on that one. Okay, here is that silver tone. That's supposed to look like a pearl. This is seven and a quarter. Uh, 145, uh, let's say a dollar for that one. This beautiful beaded tiger's eye bracelet. Uh, bracelet, good grief. Could you imagine you have to be like a Keebler elf for this to be a bracelet? Uh, let's see what size this one is. Let's make this 146. And this one will, I mean, if you push it, this one will go all the way up to an 11. So. Boy, that's a that is a beautiful piece. Um, 146. Let's say three dollars for that one. Okay, this is going to be 147. Okay, this is a stretch ring with that red faux stone faceted. Going to focus at all. Okay, there we go. And it has that stretch band um, 147 say a dollar for that one all right okay we have a couple of these let's sell these individually because these are fan freaking tastic uh this one has a number eight on the inside here is the abalone on it I mean, look at the inside. I don't think, I think these are brand new. Here's the silver tone on the side. And 
These are gorgeous. Okay, uh, 148 that said size 8 in the inside. Let's say $3 for that. This one is Shell. Looks like Mother of Pearl and the Abalone. Okay, how about this way? Are you going to like it better here? Really? Okay, how about here? Look at this gorgeousness. Wow. Okay, the other one had a number. This one does not, so... This one is a six and three quarter. There we go. That is fabulous. Okay, six and three quarter. I'm going to say three dollars for that one. This one still has a tag in it. It has a number six on the inside. Take a look at the abalone for this one. And the silver tone. Okay, so one five zero, three dollars for that one. And this one has a tag with the number five. So this will be a size five. Gorgeous. Okay, 151. Let's do $3 for that one. Okay, we're moving now. Uh, necklaces. Boy, this box had a boatload of necklaces. Oh, okay. Let's, here we go. Let's move that over. Okay, it looks like uh, she did the, you know, the tying it together again so it wouldn't go everywhere. These are a ton of little seed beads. You can tell already that's going to be a really long strand. So we have that one. Multi-strand. Red seed bead. Really pretty red. Gorgeous. Oh, the little beaded dancing girl with her dress. Oh, how freaking cute. We haven't had one of these in a long time. Ugh, look at this cutie. And then look at the work on the chain. Okay. Do we have another jingle? All right. Wow. Somebody did some time here. Look at this. <coughs> all right, now that the dog is done barking. All right, look at all of this work. That's beautiful. Look at this. That is a lot of beads. Okay, so we have that one. That's beautiful. Mm. Okay, maybe it looks like we've got some glass and some seed beads, double strand. Okay, we have that one. And then again, this one looks artisan made. Not sure what these beads are. Could be just plastic, but they're a little cool uh, to the touch. And then the work down here, and then the closure is just like someone had made a loop out of seed beads. 
So that is adorable. Um, you know, this one here I think would go nicely with these seed beads. I think would go nicely with our little dancing girl. Okay, okay, we've got a got a tangle. Okay, these definitely feel like glass seed beads. Beautiful color. And then the little charm looks like a little bull. Not cute. And culture mix. This one is by culture mix. So we have, you know, kind of an illusion wire and then And these are like acrylic. Interesting. Okay. Oh, we have something broken. But we have what looks like a fetish necklace. We have the, looks like small Small mother of pearl birds. And we have two, four, six, we have seven of them. So we have seven of the birds and like um, like this tortoise shell coloring on like these glass beads or shell beads. And here is the end that is broken. So there's that piece. Okay, and the last piece in this group, acrylic and seed bead. Boy, these are great. We have all this multicolor seed bead going on here. And then look at these gorgeous acrylic pieces. Wow. There's a ton of them multi-strand this is a great piece too for spring loving that cool okay well you know what let's start with this one we'll do 152 wow i love this one these are great uh let's do uh two dollars for this one 152 and this really big one boy this is beautiful that's gorgeous. Okay, 153. Let's do let's do $4 on this one. That's beautiful. Okay, 154. Let's do this cutie. Uh, let's do a dollar for 154. Okay, let's do 155 will be our little dancing girl. And you know what? Let's make a let's make a group. Uh, the black and the red. I think that would go good with that. Let's do and you know what? This one would too. This artisan made piece. I think those three would go great together. Let's do 155. Let's do ten dollars for this group of three. I mean, the last time I sold the little dancing girl, I mean she was like twenty-two dollars, and I sold it in like a day on eBay. So let's keep that all together. Okay, let's do. 156 let's do although this would go cute with the little dancing girl this is a little more modern with this hardware let's do this multi strand and let's do this long strand i think those are really pretty together uh, let's do these two together for three dollars okay 
Okay, and then this coloring on the little bowl. And then our little culture fix, 157. Uh, let's do, let's do $2 for this pair here. And then our fetish necklace, it does need to be fixed, but it has some beautiful bits and pieces here. Uh, 158. Uh, let's do $8 for the fetish necklace pieces. 